Hello, hello, and welcome to another edition of Atlanta's Up and Rising. I am your host. I go by Demetrius Big Meats Taylor. You can find out more about me at www.dishingtea.com. However, y'all know this ain't got nothing to do with me up in here. I'm just the host here, and I'm going to bring to you somebody, darling, who just, just, I mean just, woke this thing up for me. We sit up here talking before these cameras started rolling and baby, he just said something that just woke this thing up for me. So it is going to be my delight and my pleasure to introduce to some and present to others. This is the one and only, he calls himself Itis. Yeah, we get the Itis. Some good food give you the Itis, baby. Come on, Itis. How are you, man? What's up? I'm very well, thank you. All right, all right. I'm processing because I got to work my way into this. And I know, I know y'all, I'm teasing you and carry it on because he just gave me a jewel, a jewel that I can't wait. I got to go run and tell this, but who's up? <laughs> Are we putting this together, baby? Let's start off. I want you to take this time to introduce the world to who Otis is. Just give us the blanket explanation of who you are. My name is Otis Parks. Um, I'm 50 years old. I love the Lord. I believe that God has a calling on my life. And because God has a calling on my life, I want to be able to share what God has to give, and that's my music. All right, all right, okay. So now, in understanding callings, because we hear that a lot, and I really believe that a lot of a lot of folks have got churchified, and and and, and we love using pretty church words. However. Just in your countenance and in your spirit, I know that is not a church word kind of thing for you. So explain to me, when you say my calling to, to music, what is the message in your music that's calling you or that is compelling you to share with the masses? The Bible tells us that Christ is coming back soon. Mm -hmm. And all of us are supposed to be prepared for that day. Mm -hmm. The way society is now is like Sodom and Gomorrah back in the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was a victim to that Sodom and Gomorrah. But through Christ and through the teachings that I was raised up, I now know that God has a purpose for me. Mm -hmm. And that purpose is if I can just detour one young man or one young lady from going in the direction that I went, mm -hmm. then I can say that the calling that God put upon me has been fulfilled. Mm. Okay, and exactly in the, you said the calling is music. So what is the direction that, that you're seeking? Because a lot of folks, you know, everybody's journey is different. Everybody's journey is independent. Everybody's journey becomes just that it becomes personal. So now what has your journey dictated to you that is giving you the fortitude to say, okay, this is going to be my message to, to, to carry on. What was your journey? My experiences are things that I've been through myself. Mm -hmm. um, I was taken away from society for a long time. And I had an opportunity to really have time to sit back and think about my life, where it could have been, what I could have done with it, mm -hmm. because I thought it was over. But God, Say it ain't nothing over till I say it's over. Oh, okay. See? As you see, I'm sitting here with you. Right. So the calling has now come abroad to where 
I'm able to talk and express myself through song. I'm not an eloquent speaker. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm shy. <laughs> come down to talking. <laughs> but when I get on stage and, and, and I go to singing and praises to the Lord, for some reason, I feel like the whole world is in my hand. Mm -hmm. And some lonely woman, some lonely man, some childless kid, some motherless kid, some fatherless kid, will hear me and it will comfort them in their time of need. I feel like that's what God wants me to do. I've seen this over and over. People come by me and say, Idas, man, I, I, you, you touched me. No, I didn't touch you. The Spirit touched you through the words of this song. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? I just, I don't know, man. I just, I feel like God wants me to be that person to deliver that message. You know, music is a ministry. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, I'm not an eloquent speaker, but God put within my heart a song. Mm -hmm. And I, th I feel like that song is to bless people. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just feel like it's, it's something that, I, I, that I'm called to do. Okay. Okay, so now let, let's, let's go here. Because in preparing to venture out to take this message, you know, and in going out to make sure that folks can understand you, folks can hear you, folks can relate to you, uh, there comes a time where one has to get quiet, one has to learn, one has to study. What has your time, you said you, you were taken away from society, what has that time, what did you learn within that time about yourself that says, okay, you know, this here is how I can chart this, this here is how I can navigate, this here is how I can do X, Y, and Z. What was that teaching for you during that time where you had to sit and learn it? Seeing so many, seeing so many young people with no direction, mm. seeing so many men with no direction, mm -hmm. no purpose in life, mm -hmm. people giving up, just saying I don't care no more. You know, like I told you, I, there was a tunnel, but I didn't see no light at the end of it. And I asked God, I, I got on my knees one day because I was tired of living the way I was living. I was tired of getting high. I was tired of doing all the stupid stuff that I was doing. And, you know, I asked God, I said, God, I said, if you will lead me, I will follow. Mm -hmm. I say, if you would give me another chance, just one more chance, man, mm -hmm. I would do what you asked me to do. Like I told you, my life was like Jonah. Mm -hmm. God, asked, God asked Jonah to go to Nineveh, and he went the opposite direction. Fate has it that he ended up in the belly of a fish. And he stayed in that belly of the fish until he prayed a prayer to God and said, Lord, if you release me, I will go to Nineveh. He released me, and I'm going to Nineveh. If you don't wake this up, up in here, that right there has just opened I'm telling you, I'm floating on this. I'm so floating on this. This is, okay, okay, I, I, I'm telling you. I, I, oh, I'm, I'm too progressive for it, and, 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 and folks ain't gonna, ain't gonna get it right now. But I'm, I, wow. Here's the thing. Now that you are here, what made you decide, decide to stay with uh, gospel music or, you know, songs of praise and inspiration versus going into R&B or pop or anything like that. What, what is, is the message that is, is all praise and worship? 
or 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 does the message transcend well before i used to sing r&b mm -hmm. and you know when you make a vow to the lord you got to keep it mm -hmm. you don't make a vow to god and break it okay and I made a vow to God that if he brought me out of my situation, that if he brought me back to the land of milk and honey, that I would praise his name until I leave this world. Mm -hmm. I was born to sing gospel. I was raised to sing gospel. And I got away from it, being in the world, mm -hmm. like most Christians do. Okay. Most Christians that have talent, musical talent, get the big head and they want to get out there and do what the Joneses do mm. and, and get away from what God wants them to do. Mm -hmm. And sometimes God got to sit you down to make you listen. Mm -hmm. And in my case, that's what he done. And I made a vow to him that I would sing gospel until I leave this world because I know that's what he wanted me to sing from birth. Well, all righty then. So now, now that you've taken your course, are we looking for something to come? Are we looking for products soon? Are you in the development stage? Are you just wanting to, to just take and, 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 and be in ministry at churches? What are you doing with your gift now? Well, at the present time, the only thing that I'm doing with my gift now is singing at birthday parties at Billy Hunters. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to tell you something about that. Um, singing at those birthday parties at Benny Hunters, the people that come in there, they come in there to eat, but a lot of them are lonely. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are burdened down. Mm -hmm. A lot of them don't have direction. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And when they leave there, I want to leave something on their hearts. Okay. You know. Okay. And I enjoy my job. I enjoy doing what I do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I've become very popular. But you know what? When those people come in and say, I just, man, I need a song out you, man. I need a song out you, man. I'm, 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 I'm going through. It makes me feel good because now I'm doing what I know God wants me to do. Well, having said that, we are going to sit back and I'm not going to leave the audience waiting any longer. I want to present to you this man here. I'm telling you, he just woke this, ooh. I want to say something, but I can't. He just woke this up for me so badly. It's, it's ridiculous. But I'm not going to hold you any longer. I'm going to present to you, this is the incredible vocal stylings of Ida. I've had some good days. I've had some heels to climb. I've had some weary days and some sleepless nights but when I win when I look around and I think things over all of my bad days they turn into good days I, I won't complain Sometimes the clouds hang low, 
where I can't even see the road. So I ask the question, Lord, why, why there's so much pain? But the Lord, he knows, he knows what's best for me. He knows what's best for me. So, I, I, I won't complain. The Lord, he's been, he's been so good to me. He, he, he's been so good to me. So instead of complaining, I want to say thank you, Lord. You made a way out of no way. Thank you, Lord. When I was sick, you healed my body. Thank you, Lord. I, I won't complain. He knows. God knows what's best for me. He knows what's best for me. So I want to say thank you, Lord. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to be all in your business, but every time you come and talk to me now, you put me in it, and I don't think you know how much I really care for you, I see she's breaking your She's not the one for you. Cause, Cause you deserve somebody who loves you. And you deserve somebody who wants you. And you deserve somebody who never leave you alone. Just because time's got rough. And you deserve somebody who adores you. Someone who You're listening, you're such a good man. I only wish that you'd let me in. Thank you. At least be real with yourself. Cause if everything was going the way it's supposed to be, then you'd be with her and not here with now me. I ain't complaining. No, I ain't complaining. 
But boy, I'm just saying. Now don't get me wrong, I don't mind giving you a shoulder to cry. But when you're hurting and in need, don't you see it's me you rely on? And I'll be right there, cause that's just how much I care for you. But I see she's breaking your heart. That's something I'd never do. No. Cause you deserve somebody who loves you. And you deserve somebody who wants you. And you deserve somebody who never leave you alone. Just because time's got rough. And you deserve somebody who adores you. Someone who'll always be there for you. Yes, you deserve somebody who got your back no matter what. And baby, I do. And I can tell you she can love you like a queen. See, I treat you like the king you are. Take care of you. Protect.
Surely you were one of a kind. Just know that you will forever be in my heart. Noah, please come in. You can't possibly see where we're going. I'm not seeing where we're going. <sighs> Listen, I couldn't take the smell anymore, so I needed some fresh air. And one more thing, don't expect me now, one, to look up a finger to clean up that bottom of the ark, all right? Whatever, Noah. Get to step, woman. Whatever. Get back Whatever. inside. Women need to be inside the ark, not outside. Thank you very much. <laughs> 